Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have been going through all of the different unboxings, reveals, story times from my Paris trip. This video is all about my experience in Paris with Hermes. So as you probably know, but in case you don't, uh, Hermes Paris is the one place in the world where you have a chance to potentially score a quota bag without already having developed a relationship with a sales associate. And so the way that that's determined is there are these lottery appointments that you uh, go to the website and sign up your name and passport information for to see if you can get an appointment slot. Uh, there has been a more discussion than is even worth like really covering here about all of that and how it works and how to game the system. This is just my personal experience. Um, so take from it what you will, of course, like, you know, it's really tough to predict these sorts of things. And it's certainly not worth uh, ruining a, your trip over or stressing about or any of that stuff at the end of the day. It is just bags. But that being said, here's my experience trying to work the system, game the system, and the different things that I picked up at Hermes in Paris um, along the way. So, um, you know, a spoiler alert right at the beginning, because I don't want anyone, you know, like disappointed or anything like that. I did not uh, get an appointment slot through the appointment system. I did not get a quota bag. That being said, I did get a non quota bag and I'll talk about um, how I did that. Uh, so the things that I bought in, uh, at Paris in, in Hermes, um, the first night we went and we got my husband an uh, Apple watch wristband, which he did need and that was great. I picked up this item here, which is something that had been on my wish list. Um, and I will, will share it with you right now. I will say that, you know, there is a lot of discussion online that if you make a big purchase at Hermes, um, you may be offered a quota bag appointment with that purchase. That was not my experience. And not that I made these huge purchases, but it just basically never came up. So the first thing that I bought was this little necklace. You can see it matches my ring. It's a rose gold little pendant necklace. It's so cute. The other thing that I will say about the appointment system is I wasn't getting any of the like confirm your appointment request confirmation emails until after I had purchased an item uh, at the Paris store and kind of created an account. I had bought something at Hermes Paris like 10 years ago, but I don't think they maintained. It was like literally a Bastia pouch. So I don't think they maintained my account from that time. And of course I'm struggling to get this on right now, but it's such a cute little delicate piece. I think Amy, fashionably Amy has this piece. And so I'll obviously need to do, oh my goodness, have to do a tutorial on how to put it on. Um, yeah, maybe I will not put it on. Let's, let's do this for 10 more minutes. <laughs> Yeah, so basically I went into the trip with really high hopes of like potentially being, being able to win the hearts and minds, there we go, of the uh, Hermes pa Paris sales associates. But I will say that like there is not a story that they haven't heard. There is not like a, you know, a person who hasn't asked for a bag. Like it is very cutthroat get the VCA out of the way. And they do not care. They're, they're, Jerusha recently did a video actually about the um, whole link selling lawsuit with Hermes about how like Hermes does not care about you. And I just came back from headquarters and I will say that the rumors are true and Hermes, she does not care about you. <laughs> but I got a really cute necklace. And so that's fun. All right, then the next day I was like, okay, I'm going to like really actually try for this and keep in mind, I was stopping by the leather desk being like any cancellations and they're like, girl, no, get the F out of here. No way. Um, and so then I was like, well, while I'm in Paris, like I might as well see if they have 
any ready to wear that fits me. You know, it's really hard. Hermes is not like Chanel even. I mean, Chanel is still like a daily struggle, honestly, finding things in my size, but uh, Hermes is even worse. Like I think it only goes up into, like I think the largest size might be a 46, but even then it doesn't even really exist. The largest I've really seen at my local store is a 42, uh, which is a shame. But anyway, I did find a ready to wear piece that I picked out. It's a very classic, very chic. I think, you know, something that I'll have forever. And it was less expensive buying it in Paris, of course. It's this beautiful cashmere coat with silver and gold buttons. So this is an omen of what's to come. But it's like a very, so it's open shoulder, which is why I think the 44 fit me. Like if it had been, um, a lot of the, jackets that I tried on actually ran quite small, but because this has like sort of an open rounded shoulder, uh, it was more free size. So I grabbed that in a 44 and then to match, and I don't have the box for this. This was a part of my very chaotic unboxing video, which I keep alluding to, which I'll share with you guys, but it's just kind of like a crazy video. I picked up this belt. I like this uh, clasp. It's like so this is silver to match the jacket and then gold to match the jacket, but we got a pop of purple. I don't know if this is an enemy or what. I don't know, it's really cute though. So I got this gold and silver belt to match the jacket. Let's show it all together. It's really cute. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have already seen all these things, but this is a different, we just kind of do a long form format for the people. Maddie for the people. So you see, you get the vibe. Very neutral, natural. That belt is great. On it, like honestly, that belt is great. And I love like the air melt belt belting system where you know you can like swap out the different belt buckles or the different colors and that stuff. I like that it's like versatile, modular. Okay, so that's that. Um, I basically got laughed out of the store at like Rue Saint Honoré. I went to the leather desk too many times begging for an appointment. They were like, girl, no, you can keep trying, but the answer is always gonna be no. Uh, but if you had watched my Paris wish list video, you, you will know I did have a non quota bag on my wish list. And so I was reading the purse forum and somebody was talking about how at another Hermes location, uh, George Sank or George five letter V, which is the road that it's on. Uh, they had had luck walking in and getting, I think it was a Constance. Uh, and so I decided like, you know, my husband was feeling a little under the weather, so I had the afternoon to myself, so, and it was raining. I decided to try my hand going over there, and when I walked in the door, they asked me what I was looking for, and I just told them the bag that I was looking for. And she was like, well, the leather desk over there, you can go ask. And so then I went up to the leather desk, and I just asked her for the bag that I was looking for, and she was like, oh, uh, maybe. And so she pulled up my profile, and then she said she had to go talk to the manager. And by the time, like, you know, we stood around for a little bit, she finally talked to a manager and she came back and she was like, great news, there's just been a cancellation. Great news, there's just been a cancellation. What? Okay, but I do feel like my previous purchases being on my account helped the manager kind of be like, okay, we're gonna give her an appointment and my battery is dying. So I will be right back. <laughs> Literally every time I will never learn that my battery will die in the middle of a filming session. I should just swap it out sooner. I should just swap it out sooner, but I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste. Okay, anyway. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, so I feel like these previous purchases actually did help me secure the canceled appointment spot for the non-quota bag that I was looking for. And uh, they paired me up with a sales associate who was actually um, not very nice. <laughs> um, he didn't really wanna be dealing with me, uh, that's fine. Um, but he did bring out this box. Um, I was hoping for this bag in Beton, uh, but this one actually, actually I think it's pretty great, okay. So here it is. 
here is the bag that I got in Paris from Hermes. If you've been paying attention, following me on other social media channels or watching my videos, you already know what it is, but you won't know the color. So I'm gonna guess the color. It's like kind of a wild choice for me. I feel like I was a different person in Paris. Like if you watch my Chanel uh, ready to wear like whatever, Rue 31 Rue Cambon haul, it's kind of like, Maddie, where's the pink? There's like barely any. I don't know, I'm just like, maybe I'm in my neutral era. Like I'm just feeling like more, I don't know, more like elegant. Anyway, anyway. Here she is. This is gonna be a controversial decision, but here is the 2424 bag in size 21 in gold with palladium hardware. I told you this was a foreshadowing. How was this the bag that was available after I got this? How? But here we are. And actually I'm really happy. I think this is a great, beautiful, neutral bag. If I'm gonna have a gold bag, I want it to be this kind of more unique one. I love, I just actually, I really love this bag. It's a great, it's a beautiful bag, first of all. Second of all, if you buy it in Europe, it costs a lot less than it costs in the States. In the States, it's like $9,000. Uh, in Paris, it was 7,900 euro but I'm gonna get 12% of that back. So, and it has a really long strap. So if you are taller or curvier and needing a longer strap drop, this is a great bag for you. Okay, so this really long, really long strap has two sets of holes. So it has three here and, oh no, it has three sets of holes. Okay, well, there you go. So it has some way here, some here, and some here. So there's so many different ways. I didn't realize there was three sets of holes. Okay, and then these little D-rings on the back. It has a back pocket. This doesn't really fit a phone, but it fits cards and stuff like that. Turn lock, a top handle. So cute. A little zipper pouch in the back. And this is just the air paper she came with really cute kind of wider at the bottom smaller at the top really substantial and like I have to say just like the way that this bag feels is so good and like how is it even constructed I don't know it's just like a little delicious yummy dumpling I love it I love it okay so we're gonna take the strap I'm telling, I'm like literally obsessed with this bag. So first, first of all, I will show you. And I did a little story time with this uh, on TikTok, but you can have it again here. You put it through the belt loop and then there's like another little loop here to, so you don't have like a, a stray, whatever. So this long strap, but this longest version for me fits best over the shoulder. Now, lots of people, okay, here's the thing. Lots of people see the way that this is on here and they see you hold it like this and they say, the bag tilts forward. That's a really bad design. No, that is not what happens because you don't walk around with your bag like locked elbow out like this, bag tilted forward. No, it, you put it on your shoulder and I'll have to back you up. Okay, don't get sick, you guys. You put it on your shoulder and it sits just right. Can you see me? This is like the most awkward video ever. But it sits perfectly on the body. It is not tilting crazy off of the body. It's like uses your body for support and then goes just right. I actually think the design of this bag is genius. 
then, okay. But if you needed a really long strap drop, like really long, like if you're 70 feet tall, this is literally mid thigh at the longest. Whoops. Okay. Things are falling. Things are happening. Shouldn't have moved the camera around. Shouldn't have tried to stand up out of the chair. Okay. So then this middle area, I think, I think that's what I've been using. I don't even know. Okay. So this is like the middle of the middle three. It's like a higher shoulder bag here. Cute. And a really nice cross cute little cross. Then there's an even shorter one. You see, I, I never even made it that far. What is the shortest one going to be like? Oh my gosh. The middle of the shortest one. Oh my gosh, it's so long. Maybe it's like, oh, it's like a long on the shoulder. Oh. Oh, so it's like down here. That is very ladylike. I didn't even know that that existed. Uh, cute. And if you have like really teeny tiny arms, not for me, too short for me. Love that. Okay, so cross shoulder long shoulder like 75 different ways to wear this people also i don't know if this would work for me because i don't really want this as a backpack but people also on the longest setting do it as a backpack okay as it falls everywhere just sit on the ground that's fine so on this long setting like this i've seen it online where people do you like backpack style like this? This is the backpack. I'm not even gonna attempt that. I think you have to be tiny, right? For this to be your backpack. Okay, I could put it on backwards. I don't wanna... <laughs> Look at the direction this video has taken. Okay, so if you're really tiny, you could wear it as a backpack like this. Okay, this is just... Anyway, this is the bag that I got in Paris. I love it. I think it's really great. This is actually like a really, really cool Hermes bag. I like that it's also just like under the radar. Like, you know, it's kind of like if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. And it's super casual, wearable, easy, beautiful, whatever. My neutral baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you in my next one. Okay.